Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 is by far the largest series in terms of scale and story, but what does that mean for the timeline? Well, personally, I believe the theory set out by Yu-Gi-Oh! Explains Timeline video, where he mentions that the Arc 5 anime is just its own universe, and the Arc 5 manga is actually canon to all the other animes. It's confusing, but if you want to know more, I highly recommend watching his video. However, just because it's not in the main timeline doesn't mean I can't try and figure out where it is. So, for simplicity's sake, and also because I haven't read the manga or watched Arc 5, let's just assume the Arc 5 manga takes place around the year 2100. Same with the standard dimension in the anime. Where does that leave the other three dimensions? Mentions. Well, just because the legacy characters like Jack, Alexis, and Kite aren't the same ones we know and love, that doesn't mean they don't come from the same time periods as their counterparts, as each returning location we go to looks eerily similar to the one that was there before, minus the ones being destroyed, of course. So it's safe to assume that the time periods for the Fusion, Synchro, and Xyz Dimensions are all the same as their respective shows were. And as to where those take place, check out my other shorts where I talk about every series up to, 